In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use HD texture packs on the Xbox Series X and S version of Dolphin. I hope you've all been enjoying Dolphin. It is just such a great emulator and Sir Mangler's port to the Xbox Series X and S brings over the entire feature set practically unaltered. As such, we can do fun things like running HD texture packs, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video today. HD texture packs are great for getting a new look out of old favorites, maybe giving them a nice res boost, or just an entirely new look. It really depends on the author of the HD texture pack. That being said, do know there are some limitations to the sizes of HD texture packs we can use, and a lot of the crazy 4K ones probably are not going to work too well with Xbox Series X and S just because of RAM limitations. Now that being said, you should be able to enjoy most HD texture packs, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now as we get started, this guide is assuming that you have followed my Dolphin emulator install guide, so that way you have everything set up, running from USB, very easy to access. If not, you're going to have to interpret setup steps depending on your own personal setup process. And just as a quick note for USB drives, you do need one that can read at least 200 megs a second, so mechanical hard drives kind of are hit and miss with HD texture packs, so external thumb drives, SSDs definitely have better performance when it comes to HD texture packs, but results may vary, so give it a shot with what you got and see what happens. Now, all we need to do is source an HD texture pack for a game that we want to play, so heading over to the Dolphin Forms, they have the custom texture projects thread, link to this will be in the description below. And you can just search through this form to find HD texture packs for games you're interested in. So let's go ahead and grab one for Super Smash Brothers Melee today. So I'm just gonna head into the form here. Now when downloading HD texture packs, it is important to make note of the game ID and the region because game IDs and game regions can have an effect on if a texture pack works or not. But anyway, so there's a number of different quality options available for this texture pack. It looks like the author of this one has locked some of the higher formats behind a paywall for Patreon, which is A-OK -okay in my book. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this low-end one, which will give us results that we need for this video, and it won't cause us to run out of RAM, so that is perfectly acceptable. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and grab this um, Zelda 64 texture pack here. So it looks like this is for the collector's edition disc. And so from here, we'll just scroll down, find the download link here. here we go, Google Drive, perfect. So let's go ahead and grab this one here. And for one more example, because why not, let's grab the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD texture pack from Hypatia's. So this is another one where the RAM limitation is going to come into play for the full size pack. So they have nicely told us that this is going to take about nine gigs to prefetch, which is just unfortunately not going to work on Xbox Series X and S. So we're going to have to grab the half size pack here. So just going to go ahead and grab that one as well. And because we want to show Wii some love, let's grab the new Super Mario Brothers Wii HD texture pack as well. Now that we have our HD texture packs downloaded, let's go ahead and get them extracted. So a lot of them will be in 7-zip format, so if you haven't downloaded 7-zip, it's a good idea to do so. But anyway, just right click, 7-zip, and extract all of them into their own subfolders. All right, so there we go, all extracted. Now from here, get your Xbox USB drive hooked up to your PC and opened up. And inside, you'll see your Dolphin folder, and inside that, you'll see a folder named Load. And inside that, you'll see a folder named Textures. And this is where we are going to place all of our HD texture packs. So we're gonna start with new Super Mario Brothers here. So inside, after we open it up, you'll see that there's a couple of folders, but the one that we're mainly interested in is the one containing the texture packs for our games. And so it's usually an abbreviated version of the game code, if not the full game code. For new Super Mario Brothers, it is this SMN folder. And if there's any installation documents inside your texture pack folder, you can also refer to that to know which folder you need to drag it in. So, just gonna drag that into my Xbox USB drive, and that texture pack is now good to go. 
So you may notice some optional folders in a couple of texture packs, and this is just to give you different um, graphical looks or effects. So for example, if you were playing on PC, you could uh, do a PlayStation button map scheme here for uh, New Super Mario Brothers instead of just the Wii buttons. So cool stuff. Now on to Super Smash Brothers Melee. So unfortunately the author for this one didn't put it in a properly named folder, so we just have to rename it after the game code ourselves and then drag it in. All right, moving on to Zelda 64 Ultra HD pack here. So it is a bit different compared to older HD texture packs. And for the installation instructions provided by the pack on its form page, we just have to put the Zelda 64 UHD folder into our textures folder. So there we go. So we're just gonna grab all three of these folders. And just as a heads up, again, these ones are very large texture packs. So these will probably not work on Xbox for things like Majora's Mask, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens anyway. All right, and for our last one, we have the Wind Waker HD texture pack. So this one is using the traditional shortened game code variation. So we just need to throw this up into our textures folder. Now that that one has copied over, there's actually something else I wanna do with it just to showcase some of the optional stuff you can do with HD texture packs. So this Wind Waker HD one has a number of optional textures that you can replace like shields, tunics, just a number of different things. So what I want to do is replace the buttons for an Xbox button scheme. So I'm gonna come in here and just a quick little preview, it'll change it to this. So it's using the blue retro style button mapping, which is what I have a profile for, so that's perfect. But all we need to do to implement this is open up our Wind Waker HD texture folder and then drag the HUD folder in, so that way it will ask to replace the textures for the ones that we're going to use for our Xbox button mapping. So there we go. Now when we load up Wind Waker HD, it's gonna have Xbox buttons. But once you have all of your HD texture packs placed and ready to go, you just close out of everything on the computer side, take that USB drive out and pop it into your Xbox Series X or S. Now with your USB drive back over on your Xbox, go ahead and get loaded into Dolphin Emulator. Once Dolphin is loaded, we're gonna change some settings to get HD texture packs to load. So just go ahead and press start to go into your settings menu here. Select the box on the left, head down to advanced. Now press B, go over to the right box. We're gonna check mark the load custom textures box and make sure that prefetch custom textures is enabled. So that way we don't get any additional stuttering from the packs. And if you haven't already, under the graphics tab, make sure that you have compile shaders before starting enabled just to help reduce any micro stuttering as well. But let's go ahead and start off with Super Smash Brothers Melee. So there we go, Super Smash Brothers Melee with an HD texture pack. Some graphical glitches on this one, but that's okay. It's mostly due to the DirectX backend probably, but whatever. And here we go, the Wind Waker HD Texture Pack. As you can see, it has replaced my button prompts with ones that are more appropriate for Xbox. And I have my controller profile set to match it, so it is just absolutely perfectly aligned. Now one thing that I think is really fun, just as a little uh, segue here. At any time, you could go into the Advanced tab in-game and you could disable the HD texture pack and see what the games look like without it. So there we go, back to original GameCube button mappings and everything the way it was before. And then of course you could go back in, turn it back on. Now unfortunately it doesn't look like everything reloads very quickly, so not always the best to do it on the fly. As you can see it got rid of my nice button mapping prompts up there, so unfortunate. Oh well. There we go, it's finally loaded in. And for our final example today, here we have new Super Mario Brothers for the Wii and it is looking mighty fine. And there you have it, the ability to load HD texture packs on the Xbox Series X and S version of Dolphin. 
While there are some limitations with the amount of RAM, thus the size of texture packs we can use, you should be able to make use of most HD texture packs available, and hopefully the creators of higher sized ones have created half packs that will allow lower RAM users to use them. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video, I hope it helps you get your Dolphin HD texture pack projects up and running to your desires. Now here at the end, I do have a couple of favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way, and I always love having you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going for so long. You are all the truest of champs and we couldn't do it without you. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.